By the way, about the return of Giga Chikadze coming in at minus 235 against Alex Caceres, who sits at plus 195. Over under two and a half rounds, minus 215 for the over, plus 175 for the under. Both men four and one in their last five. And uh, Giga Chikadze, we're finally getting him back. I was wondering when he was going to come back. The last time we saw him was against Calvin Cater at the beginning of 2022. So it's been... Over a year and a half for him since he's been in the octagon. That was at the apex. Now it's going to be at the big cage in Singapore, um, which probably favors him a little bit more because he likes to use that length, use that kickboxing, but it was a beating he took last time out. Now, Calvin Cater is a very different fighter than Alex Caceres is, but uh, with the time off, like that's going to be a tough way to come back because that amount of time off after getting – you know, the shit beat out of you <laughs> was like, that's the tough thing to come back to in any realm. Uh, but for Alex Caceres, his last time I was Daniel Pineda, got a win by decision and uh, very impressed that he wasn't able to finish him because Daniel Pineda was hurt a lot of the fight. And uh, I know that was one of your bad beats of the year, I would say. The, yeah, the for sure. for, uh, Alex Caceres, but he's coming in here. Giga Chikadze as an underdog. You think he could pull it off? I do think he has a chance. Um, I, I think the line's a little wide here, considering the facts that, you know, Chikadze coming off of a loss to Cater and, you know, a, a longer layoff against Caceres, who, you know, sneakily has racked up a ton of fights in the UFC. Look at his record. I mean, the guy's been fighting in the UFC since 2011 was his first UFC fight. So, you know, 12 years. He's got tons of experience. And his game has kind of evolved, um, you know, with some of these up-and-coming guys he, he, you know, he can ma kind of match him everywhere it goes. I mean, Chikadze's experience too in fighting, and he's looked really good, you know, early in his career, in his UFC career, despite his last loss. His kickboxing is insanely good. He's so fun to watch on the feet, especially in the first few rounds. You know, the kicks are fast and powerful. He'll just chew your legs up. Um, but against Cater, I mean, he really, really slowed down when he started getting hit. And as that fight went on, and Cater just, you know, took over. We all know Cater's an extremely good boxer. Um, Caceres probably not on that level of striking, but Caceres is good everywhere. He's got good volume on the feet. He has decent kicks himself, kind of that karate style. And you know, we saw him catch Julian Arosa with that high kick, put him out, was well timed. Um, but he will get hit. So that's kind of the factor here. You know, how long can he keep it on the feet and not get caught with something, you know, really, really powerful? His grappling's gotten good over the years. His submissions have been on point. He can take your back well. And, uh, you know, once he's on your back, he does have some rear naked choke uh, finishes and submissions. And I think he's going to have to test G uh, Giga's ground game here because not many people have. The, I think the only person really to go out there and try to wrestle Chikadze, I was looking earlier, was really Jamal Emmers. And that was a split decision win for Chikadze. So it's not like that was a, you know, it's not like he dominated that fight. He kind of struggled, got taken down, I think, um, two times in that one. So I think if Caceres can try that, maybe even just try to wear him down and, and take some of the danger out of the shots early, he'll give himself himself a better chance. Um, but overall, if it stays standing and it stays at range, it's just hard to bet against Chikadze, I mean, especially against Caceres, who is good, but he's not, you know, Calvin Caver level boxing. But he's experienced and he's seen every single style there is to to see. So it could get interesting. I think the line is wide. Not sure if I'm willing to take him. Caceres is a dog yet, but I, I think it could be, you know, a decent fight. I don't think it's going to be super lopsided or anything. For the yeah. pick, though, um, you know, I'll go with Caceres. I'll take a chance on him. I think Chikadze, you know, obviously a great kickboxer like I alluded to, but Caceres is just that sneaky good fighter. I think he's got a chance. I'm with you. I think uh, the line is pretty wide um, because Caceres has been so active and he's been racking up wins. The wins aren't like something crazy. Like uh, the only guy he's lost to in the past – four years is Sadiq Yusuf. And even in that fight, like he didn't get outclassed by any means. Sadiq Yusuf was, is like the much better striker, I would say. Um, but that's like his ranked opponent that he's faced. He lost. So I mean, he's coming in here against Giga Chikaze, who's been in the rankings uh, and the time off. I don't want to say it's like good for him because he is 34 years old. And it's kind of like, kind of got to go now, but you know, you take that, type of beating maybe it's better that you take the longer time off and come back when you're ready he was scheduled to fight Sadiq Yusuf 
back in uh, September of last year and then waited almost a whole year to get scheduled again. So, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't like the price for Giga, but I think at his best, he beats Alex Caceres, yeah. uh, you know, seven to eight times out of 10. So I'm going to take him for the pick. Uh, I don't, I, you know, it's tough to to really bet guys that come off long layoffs like that because you don't know what you're going to get. But if I'm going to bet Giga at his best, I think he wins uh, for sure. So I'm going to take it for the bet. Here's, here's the last thing that I, I do kind of like about Caceres is his, you know, he lands 4.1 significant strikes per minute and he only gets hit with 2.87 over a long, like a big, you know, a big sample size. I mean, he's been in the UFC for a long time. Uh, a lot of fights to, you know, take this data from. 2.87 with a 63% striking defense is pretty damn high for being in the UFC that long. And uh, a takedown accuracy, 68%, which is higher than a lot of people. So something to lean on and look to. But like, like you said, if if Chikadze is at his best and this fight does play out on the feet, he should win. But there's always that chance Caceres finds the back, gets a takedown, you know, does his thing. So could be close. Yeah. Uh, one thing I, I forgot to say was three-round fight. Definitely favors Giga because oh yeah, an explosive athlete. Uh, if you look at the five round fight against uh, Calvin Cater, when did it really get away from him? Was the round four, round five? Mm-hmm. So three round fight definitely favors him if he comes out hot. Uh, I mean, Caceres is going to be tough to put away. Like he hasn't been finished all that often by a KO. Uh, he's only been knocked out once. He's been submitted a number of times, but I don't really see that coming from Giga. So. Yeah. Comes out hot, take the first round, and then uh, you know coast from there and get get a couple a round or two after that, or get an early finish. I'll take him.